wait, watch, yeah. careful, watch. Put the next cup on top, next ball on top, make a magical pass, and they both have gone right through the cup. Oh, what's underneath that cup? Wait, Jim, watch. <laughs> watch. Now, if they can go through the bottom that way, can they go in reverse, right? Now watch carefully. We got our two here, right? Now watch. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this cup here, I'm gonna put it right on top of this one, right? And I'm gonna try to push it through. Watch. I'm gonna push, and what happened? It went right through the cup. And we, that leaves us with one underneath. But maybe two cups and two balls is hard to follow, right? Let's use one cup and one ball, okay? Now watch carefully, Jim. I'm gonna pound that ball right through the cup. Okay, ready? Watch. Watch carefully. On three. One, two, three. Okay, look, it went right through the right through That's the cup. <laughs> now watch carefully. I'm gonna show you how it's done. You need to have three eyes, okay? You need to keep one eye in the cup, one eye in the hand with the ball and one eye on the empty hand. Now watch, I'm gonna go slow motion. Ball goes in the hand. I snap my fingers. I blow on my hand. Bad breath, but a good trick. Look, the ball went right underneath, okay? Now, that's basically the mystery of the cups and balls, Jim. It uses three balls and three cups. Next time when I do the trick, I'll use the larger balls.